Good evening, everyone. I know it looks like I'm crying, but I've actually got um, pretty bad hay fever. <laughs> so <laughs> don't be fooled. Um, <clears throat> well, first of all, you know, a big thank you to Vice Chancellor and to the Dean and to the uh, faculty of the University of Salford and obviously, obviously to uh, my loved ones and friends and family. Um, <clears throat> so I thought about this over the past few months actually about what I was going to say to you and I didn't, I mean the, the university has been on my case about where's the speech, where's the speech. <laughs> And I said, it's coming, it's coming. So I held off on the speech, mainly because I couldn't make up my mind that um, what I'd like to say to you, I want it to be, uh, I, w I would like it to be spontaneous and honest and exactly what I'm feeling at this moment in time. So I didn't want to pre-prepare. I did a preparation and I always know that when it comes down to it, what I'm feeling right now is something else that I want to express really. So excuse me if, um, this is quite um, rough, <laughs> I think is the word. Really long sight rough. Um, but that's my nature, that's who I am. Uh, I am Mr. Longsight, as much as uh, all the different communities of the you know, uh, Greater Manchester and of Longsight and its great history, and colorful history, um, that I really wanna express to you from the bottom of my heart and what I'm thinking right now and how I feel. And, I'm absolutely blown away. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable to be in this position. I mean, you've got to, if I explain to you, as was explained, as in the case of a lot of, um, not just Pakistani families, but let's say Pakistani families for now, your parents push you towards education. You know, if there's one thing they strive for is you to be educated so that you can have a family, have a life, and you have the finances, and I suppose respect plays a part in it too, but really it's about security. So when I told my mom and dad that I'd had this phone call from Simply Red <laughs> and they, they were offering me you know, five-star hotels and first-class treatment and all the, all the food I can eat, it was quite a revelation for them. Uh, it was a shock to the system. For, and, but what's unbelievable is here I am full circle a doctor. <laughs> I can't escape it. <laughs> no, it's an absolute honor. It is an absolute, especially from this university. And, I and I'm sure you're all aware, and I hope you're all proud of being um, the products or members of this university. Um, obviously, there are other universities <laughs> in Greater Manchester, but there's something about that feeling of you know, really striving to be equal, if not better. If there's one thing in my life that I have associate with is, is sometimes, well, to put it bluntly, the underdog, that's where I come from, the have-nots, that's my life. Um, but that's not to say that you can't be better and achieve more than other people that you see, even myself. I mean, that's one thing I always like to say is that I hope everyone in here is aspiring to be something or do something, maybe for the families, for themselves, that you aspire to be better. That anyone who looks at me in my career says, well, I can do better than him. If he can do it, I can do it. I can do more than him. That's all I want. I don't want to say that I'm better than anybody. I just want people to see that if a, a poor kid from a a Pakistani poor kid and Muslim from a long sight council estate can be, dare I say, a, well, the real rock star is sat here. But if I can be a rock musician and enjoy that journey, you can be anything in the world, anything you want to be. I'm sure we all have our issues, our problems and so forth. But for me, you know, I, um, I fought racism all the way through music, believe it or not. Um, I vote for visa refusals, even though I am a British citizen. <laughs> you know? uh, it's a strange old journey. You know, I'm, uh, the bands mentioned, you know, I was um, simply read. I mean, the first thing Mick Hocknall said to me was, do you like curry? <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> Pakistani, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Asia. I was the only Asian in Asia. <laughs> in Morocco, Asia. Unbelievable. I was, uh, was the only Muslim in the Christians. Well, briefly. <laughs> Ten seconds, because we couldn't agree on the money, so I wasn't in it, any of the Christians, really. Um, but uh, the strangest thing I've got to say, and thank you very much to uh, Salford University, is that I'm getting a lot of marriage proposals now. <laughs> you know, it's unbelievable, the power of the doctorate. <laughs> it's, um, I mean, they're all a third of my age, <laughs> but never mind. But... Uh, I'm taken anyway, I'm taken. But, you know, the, the journey itself has been amazing. Um, but the sacrifice of not going through the education system, that's quite something. And I'm proud of everyone in here that's followed that route because that in itself is dedication. Um, you know, the research involved, the um, leaving home and so forth. Well, maybe some people are happy to leave home, get your own place, go, home, go party every night. No, you don't do that. We all study hard. We all study hard. It's a little late hours. But um, it is something, you know, to be proud of and to not take for granted. Um, we all have our stories, as you've heard, coming from council estates and poor backgrounds and um, whether it be about your gender or be about the colour of your skin or your religion. But, um, but the great story is when you cast those things off and you strive to be better than you can possibly ever be. But that is never achieved on your own. It's achieved through the help and love and support of your nearest and dearest, and if, you have, if you're fortunate to have that, and also of the supports of educational systems. Um, I'm not an advocate of that. Obviously, I've been from the outside looking in, but I do know what I've been missing, you know, and I envy you for that. Um, and really, I, I suppose that is the entirety of what I want to say to you, that um, my journey is, yes, individual, but we all have a very individual story. You know, it's not, not my story is any better than anybody else's. Your story is equally as important. Um, but like I said, you know, we, each of us need help. We all need help in one way. We may look strong, tall, beautiful, handsome, muscular, whatever it may be, intelligent, but that doesn't mean to say that we're not vulnerable. We're all vulnerable. And there's one thing I've learned. <laughs> Excuse me. Very uh, expressive in my hands. But uh, working through life, playing music in parallel, looking at community, looking at family, looking at the world, looking at the global picture of how we can make things better. And you can all make things better. You, ha you have the power. I have the power. I have the power of music, my universal language, my passport to the world with music. You know, music, music needs no passport. And you have a passport yourselves through your education, the skills you've learned, the people you've met from so many different countries and cultures. And, you know, this is wonderful opportunities and let me uh, wrap up because I'm probably about 10 minutes already. <laughs> but, um, you know, let's celebrate that. You celebrate that. Be, be proud of yourselves. Be happy in yourself. Stand up. Like myself, stand up and be proud of who you are. You don't need any excuses to anybody. You don't need to explain to anybody else what you've achieved or what you've done. You've done it for yourselves and you've done it for others afterwards. And your achievements are fantastic. And go home and feel the pleasure of having achieved that you know i hope you're all going home with a big smile on your faces just before you go to bed you know and give yourselves a pat on the back um as i did <laughs> thank you very much